How do you do, everyone? My name is Lane Raspberry. Uh, as Pete said, I've been editing Wikipedia every day for uh, some years now. The reason why I edit Wikipedia, it's not because I, I had some strong desire to write, uh, write encyclopedia articles. It's just that uh, what happened was I, I, I came to Wikipedia because I was searching for something on Google and Wikipedia articles kept coming up. And I saw a problem with a particular article. I edited it. I, I, I changed something in the article for whatever reason. I don't know what bug bit me that made me do that. But what was interesting to me is after I edited an article, I realized Wikipedia isn't so much about the encyclopedia uh, from the editor's perspective. What it's about is the collaboration behind the scenes with people who share your interests, no matter how nuanced or specialized those interests are. So if you ever see a Wikipedia article and it's on a highly specialized topic, you can bet that that article was made by people who care a lot about that topic. And if you also care about that, if you look behind the scenes of the Wikipedia article to how it was created, you'll meet people who share your, your, your very specialized interests. So uh, going forward a, a few years from when I started editing, so that initially what happened was I edited a Wikipedia article. And then somebody responded to what I did. And I didn't realize that there was this community behind Wikipedia that would support anyone who steps up to do anything. So I, I came to understand about that. And I came to depend on the community. And what I'd like to do for uh, perhaps three minutes is I want to lead you through a, an example of how somebody can start something on Wikipedia and then it can be picked up by others. And uh, they can de develop the idea that someone someone initiates. So uh, I happen to be interested in politics in India. And for some months in uh, 2010, perhaps about six months, maybe nine months, I was reading about this scandal that was happening. And it was, it was over quite a bit of money. The government was, uh, some members of the government were alleged to have uh, mismanaged some money. And uh, when they were doing their balance sheet, uh, a large amount of money, uh, about $30 billion, came up missing. And uh, people started looking into wh where did the money go, what had happened with it. I was trying to search for information about this, this scandal or this scam on Google. And the first, the first thing that I came to notice was that there was no particular name in the news media for this scandal. Uh, so when I, was, when I would search for information about it, I would have to search for the politicians who were supposed to be involved or the journalists that I knew were covering this issue. But in every different news article that I was reading, the scandal was being called by a different name. So also when I looked for the scandal on Wikipedia, there was no, there was no article for it. And the reason why I think that the scandal was in the news media for so long without uh, without anyone making a Wikipedia article for it was because no one knew what to call it. And so uh, I, I created a Wikipedia article and I, I give it the very boring name. I called it the 2G spectrum scam. It was about the, the 2G uh, spectrum of, of cell phone technology and some money associated with that. And I, I called it the, the 2G spectrum scam. And I linked this article to the names of the politicians that were supposed to be involved in it, either judging the case or uh, had, had some control over what was happening in the case. Well, not so long, like within, within a week of me setting up this, this article, a lot of, it started getting a lot of traffic and a lot of people started contributing to it. Uh, since, since I, since I set up the article, it's just so many people have continued to, um, uh, look at it, make changes, propose all kinds of things. So what I did here, uh, in, I, I don't know if any of you are new, but here we are at the Wikipedia article. If you click View History, you can see everyone who's ever contributed to the article and every version of the article that's ever existed. And if I could show you, when I first set up the article, it was rather short. It was it was slight on sources. I had had nine sources when I set it up, and uh, not so long after I set it up, it got so much development. And if you look at it right now, um, it's got 250 Wait. different sources. A lot of people, yes, Pete. Yeah, Question. I just want to break in. The, um, the screen takes a moment to refresh. Uh, yeah. So as you're clicking around, if you can pause a little bit longer on each screen, it, it, sometimes as you click, it's, it's, it hasn't Excuse quite me. fully loaded the previous screen. Okay. Excuse me. So looking at the article as it is now, um, 
it's got more content than uh, 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 because so many people have contributed to it, and a, a huge number of more references. So if you look, the the page is just full of of uh, references to different sources that are talking about this issue. But I want to show you deeper behind the scenes of of what's going on. So uh, again, if you click on history of the article. You can see different, see information about the contributors. And I told you, anyone, if you can imagine, anyone who's developed this article, it's because they're interested in talking about the topic. And before, there wasn't really a forum for people to um, discuss how to describe this article. And I feel like this Wikipedia article became a, a forum for um, discussion of development of how this this topic should be explained. So first, to give some idea of the traffic. If you click page view statistics, you can see the traffic to the article. I recommend doing this to, to any article if you're interested in looking for a place to collaborate. And you can see this article is getting over 20,000 views per month. Uh, and this is this is an issue that's been going on for some years. Another thing that one can look at is uh, uh, who's contributed to the article. So you click contributors here, and you get a list of everyone who's ever made any any contribution to the article. And you can see it's it's quite a lot of people. And you get a, uh, the number of counts that they've made. Typically, most of the people who've come to this article, they make one or two edits. But uh, it's that the, even that the editors who only do one or two things, more often than not, what they do is a significant contribution that improves and develops the articles. And the people who come and edit just once or twice, they've made up uh, more than half of the content in this article. And then a few editors have, have edited more than the rest. But something else that's really interesting is that if you go to the history, you can also check the number of people who are watching this article. So as you as you may know, we, if you log into Wikipedia, you have a watch list. You can watch any pages to see when someone's making edits to them, uh, so you can be informed and, and speak back to anyone who has a questions or comments. And if you check the watch list through the history page, there's uh, 57 people watching this page. That means if, if there's ever any problem with this article, they're going to have some kind of response to it. Uh, a significant number of those people. And uh, you can usually uh, expect that if, if a page has a, a lot of watchers, those are from active Wikipedians who really are on by to answer any questions or, or comments that anyone might have. Uh, what, what really made me happy was that uh, a few months after I had set up this, these pages, or this page, uh, it started consistently getting a name in Google News. So whereas before, no one was calling this by any particular name, and as I said, I, I watched this issue for months. As soon as a Wikipedia article appeared uh, describing this political topic, uh, in, in so many different news sources, they, they started calling it after the name of the Wikipedia article, 2G Spectrum Scam. And so I feel like the only reason why more people weren't talking about this issue was because there wasn't initial infrastructure set up around which people could begin to have discussions on it. And once I just took the small step of setting up a Wikipedia article and putting just a, a bare amount of content in it, then that was enough for other people to add their perspectives to the article. And it came to be developed into probably, almost certainly, it's the most thorough explanation of the issue anywhere you would find on the internet. And almost any explanation that's written anywhere else is going to be based from what's in the Wikipedia article. Um, so I, this is just one case. But if you talk to other Wikipedians, I think that you would find that many other Wikipedians will tell you that they've had an experience where they, either they've started something and seen a lot of people pile onto it and add their perspectives, or otherwise they, they've been in this situation also where they recognize that uh, Something, there was a conversation waiting to happen if somebody were to just initiate it. Uh, so that's all. Thank you. That's